beginning with uh, a best-selling author in town for a lecture tonight at the Bijou Theater in downtown Knoxville. And many of you have been excited about this. You've heard of Eric Larson's book, Like Devil in the White City, Dead Wake, Thunderstruck. His latest book is The Splendid and the Vile, and it recounts Winston Churchill's first year as prime minister. And we want to welcome him in studio today. Yeah. How are you? Real good. Good. You're a New York guy right now, and you are totally in the South. I am to <laughs> so totally in the South. So welcome to everybody. Well, thank you. I had fried chicken for lunch. It was yes. I had, I had very important fried pickles. Yes, That's fried pickles so, with fried chicken. Yeah, you yeah. can check that check that off for sure. <laughs> yeah. And you've been to East Tennessee though before. Uh, you're actually on one of your last book tours. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, for a similar similar talk. Yeah. Well, the talk a little bit about uh, this book and and why you got interested in, in even writing it. Uh, well, to make a, a really long story really short, um, uh, I, I moved to New York from Seattle. Um, and when I moved to New York, um, I, I, I suddenly had this epiphany about what 9-11 meant for residents of New York versus, you know, the rest of the country. I mean, I watched it re in real time from, from my place in Seattle. But, you know, coming to New York, I suddenly realized that this is a whole different ballgame. And I started thinking, well, what would that have been like to have been in London? you know, for 57 consecutive nights of bombing, you know, essentially 57 consecutive 9-11s. What would that have been like? And I started thinking, how does one actually go about en enduring a situation like that? And I thought, well, you know, this would be interesting to explore in a book. I thought about writing about a typical London family. And I thought, why not the London family? Churchill. Churchill and his family and his, his advisors. Fascinating. Yeah, so that's how it Russell just said fascinating. He is a fascinating individual. Um, he is what, a fascinating individual, yes. What have you learned about Churchill? Uh, what have I not learned? I mean, right. uh, <laughs> you, you know, it, the, the, the challenge actually was trying to pick and choose what I, what I wanted to, what fit the theme of my book. But I think, I think the thing that most, most surprised me um, about Churchill was how much fun he was. Really? <laughs> he was a lot of fun. Now, his staff found him um, uh, ultimately insufferable, rude, inconsiderate, <laughs> but they loved him. They loved him because he had this fun side. He was really a lot of fun. He loved to sing. He loved to dance. He loved to drink. Um, he was a very interesting guy. Yeah. All right, I got to ask you this question because I, I usually ask it of all authors. But where do you like to write? Like where physically, do, where do you like to write? Physically, where do I like to write? I like to write in my office in New York. So you sit down and you have your time and you start writing. I sit there at my desk with my computer and I start writing. Yeah. Is it and a I'm there every day, seven days a week. I, the only day I allow myself to take off is Christmas. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, a lot of people believe that inspiration is the most important thing in writing. And I'm here to tell you it's not. The important <laughs> thing is to be there at your desk. Be there at your desk day in, day out. Because, you know, if inspiration is ever going to find you, it's going to be at your desk. Huh. You know. What do you it's like do? I, like I always make the analogy that if you're, if you're waiting for a bus, you know, it really helps to be at the bus stop. <laughs> you know? It's good. So. What do you do when you have writer's block? I never have it. Really? I never have it. I, I don't either. <laughs> it's a fascinating thing, the two of us. We're the only <laughs> two in the world. Right. Apparently so. <laughs> well, let's talk about the event that you have at the Bijou. Yeah. Um, what type of, of atmosphere will it be? Will, will readers be able to ask you questions? Oh, yeah, directly? absolutely. Okay. That's, that's, that's actually my favorite favorite thing is when, when readers ask questions. I tend to air. Yeah, I tend to tend to keep the talking part brief. I think mercifully brief, and then take questions and, and answer questions about this book, past books, Devil in the White City, whatever the films that are being done, and so forth. And yeah, it's going to be fun. That's pretty cool, though, that stuff like that happens with your work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think it's cool. And, and I'm, I mean, do you still get that cool feeling? Yeah, I love it. I love it. it never gets tiring. I mean, I, I, but but but. The important thing is the work, and so you know, I, I, I always try to keep focused on what the next project is going to be. What is the next project? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Where do you where do you get your inspiration? I mean, I I don't know that either. I mean, it, it, the idea process is really really hard for me. It can take me typically a year between the time I finish a book and the time I start the next one because I'm looking for certain kinds of ideas. Not every idea lends itself to to the way I write history, mm -hmm. so it takes a long time. Yeah. A long time. Well, I'll tell you, it's been uh, terrific having you here. I know a lot of people are excited that you're in town. Again, going to be at the Bijou Theater tonight. Uh, you can go here, Eric's Beat, and there's the fee. You can uh, get more information at knoxbijou.org. And also, Eric Lawson Books, 
Larson, excuse me, books.com, and they can get it anywhere, I'm sure. I, I hope so, yeah. Yeah. If it's still there, it may no. be sold out. So oh, I think it would be nice. Now that you're on this show, it'll be, nice. be sold out. Could be. You can just order a copy. Yeah. Well, we thank you so much thank for making you so much time for, for us. Me. I know it's a, a busy, uh, busy time for you traveling and promoting your book, but a pleasure to meet you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. All right. And yeah. lunch will be on us next time you come in. <laughs> fried chicken and <laughs> okay. fried pickles. We'll make we'll, sure we'll, of that. I'll get you fried Oreos. <laughs> All right. Coming up next on. Uh,